We come to the stage of the evening where we have our capital, capstone speaker, which came as a wonderful surprise for both ourselves and I hope for you. Um, I take the opportunity to introduce Mark Pendleton. And Mark may be known to some of you for his coffee break Spanish, um, which developed into many, many other languages, and to a 35 language series with 24 actual languages. His background is in language teaching, so we identify with him in that. And he is also an Apple Distinguished Educator, uh, an Apple Education Mentor. And over the last year he has a blog that's called 365 Song Project. A song for every day of the, uh, the year. Now, I had an inkling, or I had a thought that we were going to be learning Zulu. Um, but then a piano appeared on the stage. So I'm as surprised and as excited as you are. Um, I know that this lady's on the one side, gentleman on the left, has, shall we say, slight resistance from certain members of the audience. But I would say, oh yes, we actually have an objector, a conscientious objector at the back. <laughs> but without further ado, Miriam, <laughs> we will go ahead and we leave it to Mark. Mark Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's interesting to note that, that we may well have one conscientious objector over here, but we've also got Kieran over on the ladies' side. So perhaps at some point you two can just do a little duet. Is that, is that okay? Excellent. Um, I would like to say thank you first of all because you come into a room where you see ladies on one side and gentlemen on the other. Your thoughts are probably, oh dear goodness me, what on earth are we going to have to do? Thank you for staying, first of all. Um, I love the fact that the gentlemen are also kind of hanging around in the corridor, which is brilliant. But we are going to be doing something that involves technology, that involves language, but first, that involves a little music. As a Scot, um, I was trying to think of something nicely Celtic to play. And I'm going to give you a little tune just to start, and then we're going to move on to some other things. So first of all, a little, a little tune. Just to explain, I was actually playing my iPad here, and this is an app which actually controls the amounts of uh, different keys that you have to play. So, as I'm sure all of you know, we're talking about Celtic music, therefore pentatonic scales. So this is actually controlling my scale to a pentatonic scale. But also, when you wiggle the iPad, You actually get the 
the tremolo effect as well. So just a little bit to start with some music. I should also, of course, have uh, maybe started by asking a question. Can you bring that back up for Yeah. yeah. Asking a question. As a Scot to an Irish audience, uh, the question would probably be, could it Tasha for you? No, 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 that would be, that's, that's my attempt to Irish, unfortunately. It's with your chang in me, I'll go start cooking for good work like them. Neil would have played us and in Wales, because we're actually going to be talking about another language today, and um, it was indeed uh, the fact that we're going to be talking about Zulu. Zulu is a wonderful language, and I'm going to teach you some Zulu today. And we're going to use a little bit of music, a little bit of technology, and a little bit of rhythm, most importantly. What I'd like to begin by saying is, Sani Bonani! Can you all see that back? Okay, now you see where it's going. Gentlemen, can we have a really masculine, Sani Bonani! Sani Bonani! I said a really masculine, Sani Bonani. Okay, ladies, can we have a really feminine, Sani Bonani! Sani Bonani, lovely. Now, Sani Bonani is how you say hello to everyone in Zulu. So, if I say to you, Sani Bonani, can you all say back to me, Sani Bonani? Okay, Sani Bonani. Okay, let's just have a little look at this. It's a nice greeting, Sani Bonani. It means greetings to you all. How are you? Sani Bonani. Sani Bonani. Now let's keep it in rhythm, okay? Five, six, seven. Sani Bonani. Sani Bonani. Okay. Sani Bonani. Sani Bonani. Okay, now as a language teacher, what I'd like to do is do this with a little bit of rhythm. So we're going to bring Garage Band in here. Garage Band, a music app on the Mac, and it's got lots of loops. And I'm just using some of the existing loops in Garage Band here to give me a little bit of a backing rhythm as we're all going to be learning these words, okay? So here we go. Five, six, seven, Sani Bonani. Lovely. Ladies are doing fantastically. Gentlemen, can try a little harder, okay? Sani Bonani. Much better, well done. Okay, you know what? That's too easy. Okay, I'm going to say, for example, Ingia Sikulu Makanani Isizulu. Really straightforward, yeah? Zulu is a wonderful language because, in fact, it's got three click sounds. Now, click sounds are exactly what you need on a Saturday afternoon in the rain. So, the click sounds are the following. First of all, C, the letter C, is Okay, it's like you're tutting, you're kind of thinking, what enough are we doing in here learning Zulu in the rain on a Saturday afternoon? Okay, brilliant, that's your C. The X sound is... Okay, as if you're giddying up a horse or something like that. Okay, and then my favourite one is the Q. And the Q sounds like the cork coming out of the bottle of wine. That's not why it's my favourite. But anyway, it's... Oh, fantastic. Just watch you're not going... With, like, like, whack, like that with your tongue, because that's a different sound. It's so stick your tongue to the top of the mouth and pull it away. Lovely. The only problem is it's a little bit like a Mexican wave at the moment. It's going to go all the way over. So let's, after three, everyone do a nice, okay? One, two, three. Oh, fantastic. So those are your three click sounds, and it's really easy to put those click sounds into a word. Let's have a look at one of the words that we could be considering here, okay? I'll just come back here. So we've got Sani Bonani, but that's too easy. So what we're going to do is look at this word, okay? Mi Sakala. Fantastic. I should, of course, have asked, does anybody speak Zulu in the audience? <laughs> okay. Mi Sakala. Okay. Mi Sakala. Okay, so that is I am learning. Okay, the ngi part is I. Okay, it joins on to the beginning of the, the verb. Ngisakala, and that's your okay, the click sound. Ukufunda, a really good Zulu sounding word. Ukufunda, Ukufunda means to speak. Okay, I'm learning to speak, and you probably guess what's coming. Isizulu. 
Isizulu. Okay, let's put all this together. Ngisakala ukufunda isizulu. Over to you, okay? Ngisakala ukufunda isizulu. Let's try the ladies doing ngisakala, the gentlemen doing ukufunda, and everyone isizulu. Okay? Here goes. Five, six, seven. Ngisakala ukufunda isizulu. Fantastic. Let's try it again. Five, six, seven. Ngisakala ukufunda isizulu. Okay, let's try this with a little bit of rhythm. Okay? Come back to Garage Band. You may have noticed at the top here, I've actually put on a loop, okay? So I can keep using this loop as long as I need to, and it will bounce back to the beginning, so that I can keep practicing with my class, okay? So do you want the words? Yeah. <laughs> Thought that might be the case. There's the word there. Ngisakala ukufunda isizulu. Okay, that's what we're going to do. And five, six, seven. Ngisakala ukufunda isizulu. Do you remember the first word? Well done. It's Sani Bonani. Okay, so let's try putting these together. We've got one, two, three. Sani Bonani. One, two, three. One, two, three. Ngisakala ukufunda isizulu. Okay. I think we've done enough practice and what we need to do is something more exciting with it now. I'm going to move along a little bit here into my backing track because I've set up a little backing track. And uh, when I prepared earlier in true Blue Peter style, uh, I'm going to start recording here. What I'd like you to do, ladies, I'd like you to sing. Let me just get a wee pitch here. Okay, can you all sing that please? Okay. Okay. La. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna actually record this this time, okay? So we're gonna you record this bit, so really give it your all, okay? Beautiful, sweet. Okay, ladies, enough for you. Gentlemen, can we have Sunny Bonani? Right down there, okay? Let's try it. And I'm just using different tracks here. I'll, I'll mute the ladies. <coughs> I won't make any comments. Um, and let's record here. One, two. Sunny Bonani. Okay, let's bring them both back together. Let's see how it works. Ladies were lovely, I don't know what happened there. Eh? I know what's going on. Excuse me one second. Okay. Right, let's have a listen again. This never. There we go. Right. It's getting there, okay? We need to kind of fill it out a wee bit. So, gentlemen, let's bring it up a little. So, you're not going to say you were singing Sunny Bonani, Sunny Bonani, <laughs> Sunny Bonani. Okay, right, strong one there, okay? Sunny Bonani. Here it goes. Sunny Bonani. Sunny Bonani. Okay, I think we can add something else to this. Ladies, uh, let's have Sunny Bonani. Okay, Sunny Bonani. Sunny Bonani. Okay, let's put all this together and see what it sounds like. <laughs> Get it. Okay, 
okay. We're, we're, we're maybe not ready for the Soweto Gospel Choir or anything like that, but we're definitely getting there. So, what we need to do is bring in some of the other stuff, especially Ingisakala Ukufunda Isizulu, because that's really what we're here to do. We're learning some Zulu. So, let's come up to here. And I'm just going to unmute these tracks so that we can bring in everything. Okay. So the way this is going to work is we're going to have Sani Bonani Ngisakala Ukufunda Isizuru. Dead straight forward. Dead straight forward. So let's just do that. Oh, everybody's singing the Sani Bonani bits. Okay, so everybody's singing the same. Sani Bonani. And we can still use these other uh, bits that we've got back there. Okay? Sani Bonani. Sani Bonani. Sani Bonani. Fantastic, even that we last bit there as well. Okay, and what we'll do is add in the Ngisakala Ukufunda Isizulu. Let's have a look at the words again. Ngisakala Ukufunda Isizulu. Okay, we ready to record this? Yeah, go on, let's have a go. Right, here we go. Sorry, 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 sorry. Let's do this here and record it here. Right, let's, this is the big moment. Let's see if it all works. Let's see if it all works when we put it together. It's starting to sound really good, so well done. Obviously, in this kind of circumstance, we've got the microphone here, but it's picking up you, and it's also picking up the backing track. So it's not ideal. We would obviously be trying to do this in a different way, and certainly in the classroom, the music wouldn't be quite as booming and, and, and loud. Um, how do you say hello in Zulu? How do you say I am learning? How do you say to speak? And what's the word for the Zulu language in Zulu? Get the point. We're not really worrying about the learning here. We're having fun. We're doing the, the sort of activities and so on. The technology is just kind of there. It's helping us. We're recording it. And of course, when we've recorded it, we can combine what we've done with another class. In fact, let me just bring this one in and let's hear the whole thing. Because this is combining you, oops, didn't mean that, with a performance in Dublin a few months ago. A performance in Denmark last May and a performance in Cheltenham last April. And this is Sani Bonani or Ingitagnala Ukufunda Isizulu performed probably by about 400 people. Feel free to join in. So these are Dublin. These are you, and then down at the bottom, we've got the Cheltenham bounce. This is you coming in.
and so on. We'll not let the whole thing play. But we can easily export that as an MP3 so our students can take it away, can be rehearsing it themselves, can be practicing it, can be singing along. And of course, ultimately what they're doing is learning. This has been a bit of a silly end to the day. Hopefully it's been something a little bit different, a little bit enjoyable. And I hope that you've picked up a couple of phrases in Zulu that, that, that will come in useful at some point in your life. Thank you very much. Thank you.